Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna Friedrich and in today's video I'm bringing you a new Morphe palette. They released it yesterday and it's a 24G, a Grand Glam. As the name suggests, it has 24 pens and I'm going to show you the swatches, the demo, I mean tutorial and give you my completely honest impressions. I'm not sponsored by Morphe and I don't have affiliate coupon code so I'm not going to lie or sugarcoat them. If it's any good, I'll tell you straight up. If it's complete shit and waste of money, I won't pick my words. This is how the palette looks like. It's quite big and the pants are huge. Just so you could get an idea of the size, I'm gonna compare them with the Makeup Geek and Makeup Revolution singles. This is how it looks side by side with Morphe 35P. This palette doesn't have mirror. The actual palette is not made from plastic as previous Morphe palettes were. This one's cupboard but it looks okay, it doesn't feel luxury and heavy as some of the high-end brands do but bear in mind that this is not a high-end brand and what really interests me is the quality of the actual product which are the eyeshadows. There are 11 matte and 13 shimmer shades. The range goes from warm to neutral browns, terracotta oranges, reds. There's no black but they include a deep dark brown. We'll test if it's deep enough to replace the black. Formula is different, it's more creamy and soft. Looks like these pants are lightly pressed. You don't have to dig hard to pick up the pigment and I wouldn't recommend to do that. You'll just cause too much of unnecessary fallouts. Let's not forget to mention the price. This palette costs £29 if you're ordering from Morphe UK site, plus some shipping costs, minus some discounts if you apply coupon code and £29 if you pick it up from the USA. They printed the names on the clear plastic sheet, which I like better than printed on the back of the box, but I would prefer to have it printed on the actual palette under each shade. Okay, so let's try them on the eyes. I'm not going to overthink it, I just want to do makeup look, which I'll normally do if I have to pop up on some event or some shooting. I don't want to smear like a 10 different shades on my lids and cry how bad these eyeshadows are, unable to blend, colors doesn't show up, they all look the same, yada yada yada. I'll experiment with techniques and styles in my regular videos and tutorials and not with product reviews because I want to be as honest and accurate as possible. So I'm gonna start with shade Creamer and I'm using Morphe M573 and I'm going all over my lid and crease. This is just my base. The next shade I want to use is Frenchy and I'm going with the smaller Morphe brush M506 and I'm placing it onto my crease. So pigmented. On the back of the box it says that you can use this shade and this one right next to it, Mojo, as a bronzer. Depends upon your skin tone and I definitely agree. The pen is big enough so my bronzer brush can fit nicely without picking the pigments from the shades next to it. And for my light skin tone I would go with that shade Frenchy and that's exactly what's gonna do after we're done with the eyes. So the next shade which I'm gonna pick up is this warm dark brown, it's named Brew. And I'm placing it into my inner and outer corner. I'm creating halo eye or a spotlight eye. And I'm gonna add some more. And I'm gonna blend it with the Morphe M441. They're so easy to blend. To add just a tiny bit more darkness, I'm going with the brownie, which is the darker shade in the palette. For now, I'm really happy with the performance of these eyeshadows, but I've tested on it matte ones. I'll apply glazed since it's the lightest shade. The bigger contrast, the better hella eye looks. And I'm wetting my brush with the Fix Plus to make my shade pop even more. I really love these shades. I think it'll look great. Again, glazed and crystal, which is right next to it, works as highlighters. Glaze is suggested for fair to light skin tones and crystal for medium. If you have dark skin tone, Dream would look amazing on your cheeks. 
Okay, I'm done with the eyes. I'll pop some liner, mascara, lashes and come back to try out if that shade works as a bronzer and highlight. Okay guys, so my eye look is done. For my inner corner on my tear duct I used just a tiny bit of glaze and uh, on my lower lash line I mixed Frenchy and uh, just a tiny bit of brownie. And that's it. Now let's do the bronzer first. I'm gonna use Morphe M437. So I'm using Frenchy and I'm gonna tap just a tiny bit. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, it's so pigmented. But the shade is right for my skin tone. And it blends nicely. Look at that. Tiny bit on my forehead. It's not too warm, too orangey. It doesn't appear muddy or patchy. I don't think I'll use it on a daily base, I don't find it convenient, but I could use it as a bronzer when I'm using this palette for eyeshadows and uh, when I travel. And the last but not the least, we have to test if this palette is any good as a face highlight. Again, I want to be honest in my judgment, so on one of my cheeks I'll do what I would normally do with any other highlight. I'll apply cream highlight as a base so the powder can grab to it and pop up more but I'll test it without the base on the other cheek. And this is Morphe M510. And here we go. Okay, that's pretty. And it looks wet. And this is how it looks without base. Yeah. Hmm. Still looks good. Not that amazing as here, but yeah, I definitely prefer this side more. Okay guys, I hope this review and tutorial was helpful. Hope you liked the look. I told you everything I think about this palette. If you already own like a warm palette with similar shades or even Morphe palettes 3502, 3502, maybe you'll find these shades similar. I would compare them to show you and to check if there's too much of a similarities, but I don't own any of them. Overall, I think you know the best which color combinations you love to have in your palettes. I'm here to inform you about the quality, blendability, pigmentation and price. It's a nice palette for simple, everyday use, for night out, bold, smoky eyes. Palette which offers you bronze and highlight shades and I'm sure I'm gonna use it in some of my future videos as well as my off-camera daytime routine. Thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to check more of my beauty and fashion related posts, you can keep up with me on social medias. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook. The name is the same, Anna Friedrich. And if you'd like to support me, just click the subscribe button. Enjoy your day and bye-bye.